Facts First presents Paris Canal is drained and the fines are unreal. The Canal St. Martin was built in 1802 when Napoleon initiated and passed a request to have it developed. When the canal was created, the population in Paris at the time was about 550,000, which was increasing at a rapid rate. Napoleon hoped that by creating the canal, he could create a new fresh water supply, which could rid the city of diseases that were a serious problem back then. The Canal St. Martin wasn't the only channel to be developed during that time, either. The city was growing quickly, and city officials wanted to make it as modern as possible. That meant the landscape had to be altered to accommodate the changes. Over 20 years, the city created three separate waterways. The total length of the three canals spanned over 80 miles. Of the three, the Canal St. Martin is the most popular. This particular canal connects with the River Sign. When the channel was created, people really appreciated its beauty. They also discovered the benefits that went along with it. The Canal St. Martin begins from Basin de l'Arsenal, which is located on the side of the River Seine. From there, the canal travels underground, beneath the Place de la Bastille. From there, the channel heads north towards Basin de la Villette. Due to the canal's location and length, it's one of the most popular water passages that run through Paris. It's older than 200 years old, and the citizens of Paris love it. Because the canal is so important, it's drained every few years and kept cleaned and well-maintained. The main benefit of the canal was the clean water that it produced for the city. Soon it became the main thoroughfare where food and building supplies could be brought in for the residents of Paris. With the connections to a major river, the trade and commerce in Paris flourished. Today, it's more of a tourist attraction. Tourists love to use the beautiful setting. Along the banks of the canal are numerous bistros and the beautiful bridges attract the tourists. The canal has been a symbol of Paris for years. It's been the subject of many painters because its beauty makes an excellent backdrop. It's also been used as a location for several movies over the years. Because the Parisians are so proud of their canal, they do their best to keep it clean. Every 10 to 15 years, the canal is emptied and cleaned from top to bottom. Because millions of people pass by the canal each day, it gets littered with trash. And that's why regular cleaning is so important. The Paris Canal drained for the first time in 2001, and the fines there were unreal. It was drained and people working on the project collected nearly 40 tons of refuse from the canal. Some of the items were shocking. Under the water, they found a car washing machines, gold coins, two 75mm shells that originated from World War I, and more. At the end of 2015, Paris officials realized that the canal was dirty and the water wasn't clear, so they decided that it was time to drain and clean the canal again. It was expected to take three months to get it completely drained and cleaned. To get the job done as quickly as possible, the city recruited citizens to help out. The project required them to move 3 million cubic feet of water, and the cost of the job would be about $10 million. Before the real cleaning could begin, the fish needed to be safely removed from the canal. To get them out, officials emptied the water until there were only 20 inches left, and that would help the people collect the fish safely and move them to another waterway. The task of moving the fish itself took three days. By January 7th, the water was entirely drained from the canal people were shocked when they saw what had been left behind over the last 15 years since that first cleaning had taken place. The people working found hundreds of glass bottles, shopping bags, and traffic cones. What many people found shocking was the large number of bicycles that had been thrown into the canal. It wasn't just bicycles that were discovered, though. They also found two motorcycles. As if a large number of bikes and motorcycles wasn't strange enough, they also found supermarket carts, chairs, dust bins, suitcases, and even a toilet. How did a toilet end up at the bottom of the canal? Well, hopefully the people of Paris learned a lesson since the last cleaning and they'll stop polluting. It's the only way to preserve the canal's history and beauty. Subscribe for more!